is up guys, it's Charlie Zander 38 coming at you with some more taste test and action. And if you already read by the description, today we're taking a look at, uh, it came out last year. And, uh, as I never even knew these, these, uh, these were, uh, available until I was looking for, uh, the other Kool-Aid Retro Jammers. This is a, uh, Kool-Aid Sour Jammers. And, uh, this is the snap a green apple so, so very cool something something very different um, 10 pouches in this and it cost it was like a, I think it was that giant uh, got, I think it was like 198 or something like that plus tax for it but uh but I also got got the other one too there, there's two of them in cups uh, the other one's uh, watermelon slam watermelon slam so but anywho I'll open this bad boy up here and uh, definitely I have a clip here after I do my taste test here I'll have a clip for you from uh, my good buddy Webgear 1977 he's possibly going to uh, do a taste test on this too with me Cool. I'm gonna do these back to back, so definitely uh, keep an eye out. there's the sour jammers. Snap it, green apple. Right. That's like ask my one buddy, my YouTube friend uh, cousin Ryan, see if he uh, see if he ever heard of these. He's like he never even heard of them. Uh, it came out last year, so I figured I'd get a review up for you guys, see what you think. Anyway, here we go. Oh. <laughs> wow. I did some sour. <laughs> Not sour, sour, but you can taste the sourness. Kool-Aid sourness, it shows a sour meat. <laughs> so I'm thinking the watermelon slam is a little bit more because the sour meter is electrified on that that uh, the picture of it. But it, sh it shows the lightning on the meter here too, but it does show on the package here. So. Yeah. Pretty good, definitely. Since uh, it has a hit, had a summertime to it too. You know, very cool. Snap of green apples. Definitely pretty good. So anyway, Web Jr. nineteen seventy seven. You can go ahead and take it, take it over from here, buddy. I've got you guys back here for final thoughts. Hey, this is Web Jr. nineteen seventy seven here. Back with another taste test. This time we got Kool-Aid Sour Jammers Snapping Green Apple. Oh yeah. Not really sour to me, but uh I got a pretty high tolerance for, for uh sourness so it's really good though for sure i like it definitely got a like a jolly rancher green green apple kind of taste definitely good but yeah i i really highly recommend it so back to you trans Aaron 38 all righty guys we're back and uh my final thoughts on this uh kool-aid uh sour jammer Snapping green apple is pretty darn good. It's pretty magnet. Pretty good. Highly recommended, guys, if you guys haven't tried it. Very cool. It's just like the Capri Sun pouches, which is pretty cool. Um, so there's my review on 
the Kool-Aid Sour Jammers. I hope you guys enjoyed the quick review. I'll have another review of uh, the Kool-Aid Sour Jammers water, Watermelon Slam. It's sour Jammers Watermelon Slam. And uh, definitely excited about, about trying this one. And uh, just like the other one, I have my buddy Web Junior 1977 taste it. And give you, he'll give you your, his thoughts, and I'll give you my final thoughts. So, anywho, I'll end up giving the uh, buddy Web Junior 1977 a couple of those, uh, maybe two, two each, so he can do a video of his own. But uh, there's the pouch. I actually ripped the straw off by it. So, watermelon slam. See how this goes. I really don't taste a sourness in this. Nope, no, no, I do. No, I do. <laughs> wow. That's actually pretty darn good. I actually like that watermelon flavor. That's actually pretty good. So when it comes to Kool-Aid and uh, the Capri Suns, I was like, I'm a big fan of them. I was like, I drank the crap out of them when I was a kid. <laughs> um, very, very cool. Pretty darn good, definitely. So, uh, my, my opinion is pretty good so far. Um, we'll check on uh, Web Gear 1977 here, and he'll give you his thoughts on the Kool Aid Sour Jammers Watermelon Slam. Right to you there, Web Gear 1977. Catch you here in a minute. Back here in a little bit. Hey, this is Web Gear 1977 back again with another taste test, this time Kool-Aid Sour Jammers Watermelon Slam. Oh yeah, really good actually. I'm a big fan of, if you're a big fan of watermelon flavor and sour, definitely. Yeah, got like a Jolly Rancher taste to it again. Definitely recommend this one, this one as well. Back to you, Trans Aaron 38. Alrighty, guys, I'm back once again, and uh, that was Web Junior 1977. Definitely. Uh, here's the Kool Aid Sour Jammers Watermelon Slam. So he gave you his thoughts. My thoughts is definitely pick yourself up a case of it. It's only like a dollar, dollar eighty eight at Walmart. Uh, different different stores has it. It was like a thing giant where I got mine was like a dollar ninety eight or something. Uh, you gotta have, gotta have to pay tax on stuff. Different stores has different different prices on stuff. But uh, definitely uh, sour sour jammers, Kool Aid sour jammers. Definitely, it's definitely a win win situation on that one. But, uh, yeah, like I said, though, so I hope you guys enjoy these taste testing videos that me and Web Junior 1977 do because we enjoy it and uh, give you guys a, a little bit of uh, interest of different stuff that's coming out, like different flavors and stuff. So, definitely, hopefully, I find uh, Purple Saurus Rex and uh, Sharkleberry Finn, my buddy Cousin Ryan was talking to me about. Um, I guess that's the other retro jammer that's out. Uh, the retro jammers. Uh, not the jammers, but. But yeah, definitely. Until next time, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the review. This is the Kool-Aid Sour Jammers Barbone Slam review. I give it a two thumbs up. If I can, it, it, there we go. Two thumbs up. Definitely highly recommend getting it. So, this is Trans Air 3 and Web Junior 1977. We're out of here. Talk to you guys later. And uh, uh, try not to get too much of a sour, sour feel. <laughs> so, until next time. Later.